gosh, what an incredible weekend so far, right? Who's fired up out of their minds? Woohoo! Who wants to make some money? I do. Who wants to help some people? Hey, y'all heard Eric Belair out there talking about this is a real deal. We're doing this to help people. If you help people get what they want, guess what you get? You get what you want, okay? Sevenfold, hundredfold, okay? So we're going to be talking. What are we talking about today, Megan? Door knocking. I think that's oh what Oh, my gosh. Saying. We're going to do door knocking. Oh, my goodness. There's a door up here. Yeah, there's a door. <laughs> it's just like the ones I knock on. Oh, she does a lot of door knocking, I tell you. <laughs> Don't get scared, though, okay? We got these things they call lead. How many people are in brand new in here? Ha haven't brand new? Raise your hands high up for me, okay? High like you're reaching up to the sky. That's it. That's it. There's a lot of new people here. That's awesome. There is. That's amazing. My name is Noel Levintovich, and I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I was hired by Alex Abian, and this is Megan Wood. I'm and Megan you just Wood. heard her story, right? Server. Bartender. Make, bartender making yeah. how much? 30000 a year. 30000 a year? Yeah. How long ago? That was three years ago? Yes. Three years ago. Guess what Megan just bought this week? Yeah, she didn't really talk much about that, did she? <laughs> how, bi how, how, how big is the house that you just bought? 5,000 square feet. 5,000. Hey, she won't tell you, but, but I'll ask it, okay, so you know. How much did that cost? <laughs> $600,000. She went from a waitress and a bartender making 30000 a year to three years later buying a 600 square, or 5,000 square foot house, $600,000. Yeah. Dollars. yeah. Um, how many acres? Two? Three acres. Three acres. This thing is real if you put the work into it. That's right. It's real if you put the work into it. Um, <clears throat> so I, here's the thing. Megan has, here's something about Megan, y'all don't, I, like there's a lot of background stuff, right? There's a lot of story y'all haven't heard yet and stuff like that. She'll share it with you at some point. But she's an overcomer, okay? One thing about Megan is, it's not that she doesn't have problems and situations, that things that come up. I mean, you heard a little bit about it. There's always something going on, right? Always. It's that she, once she's frustrated or mad at something, sad, scared, she reaches out and gets it out fast so that she can move on to the next thing that she needs to think about fast. See what I'm saying? She is somebody that will communicate like nobody's business. I don't know how many times a week you call us. I know. When I first started, it was like 20 times a day. Mike Levintovich looked on his phone to see how many times I called him in one day. He had to keep <laughs> scrolling. <laughs> so it's okay, okay? We all have problems and situations. Don't worry about that. But we're going to show you how Megan overcame it and how she got to the point where how many door, how many appointments do you were at? Uh, uh, set in a week 50 50 appointments a week is what she sets in a week okay now don't get scared how many did you do at the beginning gosh I was doing three appointments every two weeks at the very beginning three appointments in the er every two weeks okay she was doing three appointments every two weeks okay <laughs> uh, not every week even no no She's, she's now at the point three years later where she's doing 50 appointments a week, okay? Start where you're at and grow from there. Start where, where you're at and learn from there, okay? You want to say something? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you talk. All right. Um, I just want to introduce Noelle Levintovich. Um, she's the wife of Mike Levintovich. They have changed in my life. Like, they are amazing. Like, God puts people in your place for a reason. They're like my second mom and dad. They have done so much for me. Every time I needed them, I'd call them. If Mike didn't answer, I'm driving Noel crazy. Like, <laughs> but they always help. I don't they think they're always crazy. Help. 
Yeah. I'm already it's crazy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But it's like, at the same time, we got to get what we need. It doesn't matter. How many times did I have to call no Noel? How many times did I have to call Mike? It doesn't matter. Because I am here to help my team, and I'm here to help my son. So I don't, I'm not sitting there thinking like, man, I hope I'm not bugging her. She might be at dinner. Tell it. Maybe she doesn't want to talk to me right now. I don't care. I'm going to call her because I have questions that need answered. Do you see? Like, stop being like that. Who cares? Call her. Because in all reality, we are here to succeed. And we are held to, we're here to help others succeed. So I don't care. Mike, don't answer. I'll call somebody else. Get my questions answered. But they have, they've changed in my life. And it's not just about this business. If I have questions about life in general, should I do this? What should I do with this? You know, I would have some really bad days. And I would call Mike or I would call Noel. And it's amazing to me. You can be on the phone with these people for two minutes. Take this bag. Thank you. You can be on the phone with these people for two minutes. And all of a sudden, it's like your whole day has changed. You can have a bad day or a bad moment and speak to these people. And all of a sudden, your whole world is lifted up. So... I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me You're welcome. and my family and my son. It's changed my life. Yes. Thank you to Andy and Jane Albright for putting this yes. whole system together and this team together. Listen, none of us would be here if, no, if somebody didn't ask us a question to be here. None of us would be here if we didn't have somebody that was helping support us along the way. And all the leaders and all the people that you saw on stage today and the ones that will be talking today, they care. Because remember, if we help people get what they want, then you'll get what you want. We get what we want, 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 and we need to serve other people by doing that and answering their calls if they call. And listen, Megan knows, and, and, and look, if, if the person on the other end doesn't pick up, okay, or text you back right away, it's okay. Just everybody calm down. They'll get back to you because they could be doing something else, right? That's so right. that happens too. But use your upline, use your team, use the system. I'll give you my phone number right now if you could put write it down real quick. It's 502 That's right. Get that? All right. So one thing I do want to – so Megan um, runs 50 appointments a week. Some of those are current clients that she's doing secondary sales on, okay? She's already written them a policy, and she's going back and, you know, helping them with another policy. But today we're going to do a door knock and breakdown for you. That's how we say Yay. it in Kentucky, okay? Um, so it's going to break down the door knocking. So out of your 50 appointments, how many of those are door knocking appointments? 25. How many? About 25. 25. So 25 are, are door knocks, okay? So we got these things called leads. We are allowed to call them. The good news is, like, uh, was it, uh, who was it? Robert Wilson said, pick up the phone or what? Held up his phone up here. Call the leads, okay? Call the leads. Megan's got a system on door knocking. She did not pioneer it, right? You, That's you right. You weren't the first one, right? I wasn't the first one. <laughs> That's right. It was a thing. <laughs> it was a thing. <laughs> She did not invent door knocking on the leads, okay? But she just took it to a higher level. She just took it to a higher level. She thought, hey, maybe this will work if I plan out door knocking, okay, and knock on the leads. So you're better with people, right, in, when, in front of them? Yes. That's what you liked about it, right? That's what I liked. One other thing. Did you have any mistakes, like, when you first started door knocking on the leads? Yes. What happened? Um, I was told, well, I didn't fill that out. Or, I can't believe you just came over here. You didn't even call first. 
So, so that's kind of this, a little bit of the stuff that I have heard, um, you know, and there was times I would get in my car after appointments or, you know, even trying to get the hang of everything and I'd cry. I'd call Mike. I'd, hello? Okay. I'd call Mike, you know, I would, but just like Noel was saying er, earlier, it's like you cry or you get mad and then you get over it and you keep doing it again instead of dwelling, you know? Yes, that's a big thing. Get over it fast. The, the people that succeed fast are the ones that get it out fast, get over it fast, and get up and go fast. And that's what Andy Albright does every day because I promise you there's stuff going on with him too, okay? But the faster you can get over it and move on to think about what can I do, what can I control, that's what's going to get to you to 100000 200000 a $1 million. By the way, how much did Andy say that she got in her bank account so far this month? This month? 20, like $26,000. It's May 8th. <laughs> yeah. So what, what, about May made in a year at Applebee's. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so she took it to a higher level. She gets up fast, had a lot of failures. Failures got knocked down in the beginning, had to do more repetitions, had to practice. This is not something that, that is special to Megan. This is just something that she repeated over and over and mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. You get what you repeat over and over and over, okay? If you start it and you do a couple door knocks or you make a couple phone calls and, and it doesn't go the way that you imagine it, don't worry about that. It's getting up fast and doing it again, okay? I think it's always like it's the first one. That's the hardest. Once you get in there and you help out that family, like, I'm like, yes, I'm going to do that again. Let's do that again. You know, so it's always, it's always the first one. They were home. They were really nice. I helped them out. I'm glad I just stopped by because they probably wouldn't have answered the phone. So now I'm going to do that again and again and again until it's so dark outside you can't see the numbers on the house. <laughs> How many days a week do you go out uh, running your point? Um, I go out on Monday through Friday. My son goes to kindergarten. I drop him off at 7.30. I get home. I do a meeting with my girls. I leave my house at 8.30, and I do door knocking until 1 p.m. So 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m., I leave, and I go pick up my son from school Monday through Friday. And then I go every other weekend from 8 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, every other week. So after you pick your son up, do you do more door knocking later, or is that just... No, I'm done, and I'm a stay-at-home mom. So she, she's got her... Yeah. It's all, about, it's all about, like, what can you do with the time that you have? So I'm going to go kill it with the time that I have. Exactly. What are you doing with the time that you have planned? If it's running appointments, are you running appointments? Are you doing other things? Is, if it's dialing to schedule your appointments, are you dialing or are you doing other things like laundry? <laughs> Don't do laundry, okay? Um, let it pile up. <laughs> um, <laughs> When, in the time that Megan has allotted, this is what this is key. I hope you're writing this down. In the time that she has allotted, she's doing the door knocking and the running and sitting with families. It's not like she's doing it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because I think that people think that she's doing that. Yeah. No. And every other weekend, she's doing a full day. Not every weekend. Right. Every other weekend. So... On the opposite weekends, I spend the time with my son. So, Plan it out. Plan it out. Do what you promised yourself you would do on those days. And you can work it around your life. Yeah. Okay? You can work it around and your life. And I think life. it's about the way we talk to ourselves, too. I mean, like, a lot of people use excuses as in, like, well, I, you see, I have a six-year-old. I can't do that. A, I do too, and I'm a single mom. Like, we all can do it. We can do it. We believe in you. It's just like, what are you willing to do? Because I'm willing to work as hard as I can for my son. 
can be a, a, an excuse or a reason. Megan's decided that her son is her reason. An ex- he could be an excuse or a reason. We that's get right. to pick. Um, okay, so here's, here's something that's very important that we're talking about right now. This is something that I just made up, okay? You might have heard it before, but I just made it up. Oh, no, I shouldn't take credit for it. But <laughs> um, it's something that says prior, prior proper planning prevents poor performance. See, I just made it up. I'm just teasing. I like that. Prior proper planning prevents poor performance. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about your planning your, on your door knocks, okay? Okay. What do you do? Do you just get a stack of leads and you start running? What do you, like, you get them that day and then you go out? Tell them a little no, okay, bit about so how you plan for that. Um, on the days that I know I'm going to go out, right? So I get all my leads together. I print them out. I put them in a folder. I'm ready to go out. But I also, we have an app, and it's called Road Warrior. That's right. I put all my leads into Road Warrior, hit optimize, and it tells you the closest house to you, the next closest house to you, the next closest house to you. Hello? Okay. Keep it. Closest house to you. Keep it up. Um... So, I mean, because beforehand I would have been like, I'm going to go see Bob because Bob's a great one. I know he's going to be home and I know he's going to be there and I know he's going to be happy to see me and Bob is going to be a fantastic lead. You look at your lead and you right, like right. the name. I like Bob. <laughs> I'm going to go there. I ain't going to go see Mary. No, oh, I'm going to see Bob. Uh, but he was 20 minutes away. But in all reality, Mary was two minutes from where I was. So Road Warrior is amazing. We should do a commercial for Road Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> so Road Warrior is an app. You can get it on yes, your phone. Yes, yes, yes. Um, you, you get some leads. You put them in there. It optimizes where you go. You don't have to think about it, right? Right. Um, one thing, Megan, when do you put, in, put all your leads in there? Do I put do- them all in the night before. The night before. Plan it out the night before so that when you hit the door and drop your son off, what? I am ready to go. Ready to go. All ready right. to go. Make sure, and make sure you have all your stuff together. Yep. All right. I got paper applications if needed. I got all my leads all in order from where I'm planning on going. So the leads are in order because she's optimized that in the Road Warrior, and then she can lay them out so she has them ready to go. That's Got right. it? Hopefully you're taking notes. So you want to do a role play? Bre- do you want yeah. us, her to do a role play breakdown with me yeah. on this door knocking thing? I got my door. We got a door up here. We might as well use it. <laughs> Listen, is it to the bathroom? Because I got to just. <laughs> um, Listen, it's not just what Megan says, like the words. Listen and, and pay attention to. She's going to give you the secrets right here, but it's not just the words. It's how she's connecting with the client, her tone, her intonation, what she's saying, how she's saying it, okay, how she's interacting. It's a whole package, okay? Everything is intentional. Everything is intentional, and it's there for a reason. If you say, well, I don't like that part, well, you may not be able to do what Megan's been doing here on it, or maybe you'll find a way that works, but this one works. So try and duplicate this. If you plan on getting after it like this, try and duplicate it the way she's doing it, but not just that. Hey, listen, I was talking to my buddy Jake, and uh, I was like, listen, every morning we get to wake up. Thank God it happened today. (laughs) And the world is our stage. God get It's a world. It's our stage. This is not our stage. The world is our stage. And we get to pick the role or the character that we're going to play today. Okay? If you say, I don't know how to do it, don't worry about it. It's all acting. (laughs) So you'll you'll get this. And the more you play that role, guess what? The more you'll become that character. Okay? So let's roll with this. That's right. I'm ready. All right. All right. She's going to prepare. I'm going to go in the house. Okay. Here's your... Okay. So, 
That's why I brought my bag up here. Because this is what I, the exact bag I carry into homes. All right. So I'm in my car. I'm getting my lead out. Getting my phone. Getting my sticky notes. Everything that I take with me. And my mask. So I don't put my mask on. I carry it in my hand because it's really important that people can see your face and they can see your reactions and they can see your smile because there's nothing more terrifying than somebody come on being, coming up to your house with a mask on their face and all you can see is their eyes. Would I let you into my house? No. You would terrify me. No. You're not coming in. I am. Um, Oh, I also, I park on like the side of the road. I do not pull into their driveway. Park on the side of the road, okay? Because if they see you, they're probably going to be like, who in the heck is that coming up to my house with a bag? No, nobody answered the door. Kids, don't answer the door. So, <laughs> you park down the road, right? Down the road. Down the road down a little bit. Down the road. She sneaks up on. On the side. And I'm smiling as I'm walking, all right? So, yeah, with everything in my hand, I got everything in my hand because I'm betting that they are going to be there, and I'm not going to say, well, hang on. I got to go back out to my car. Because if you do that, you're giving them the opportunity to say, well, Wait. I actually have something to do. No, you take everything with you. Everything. All right? So I'm walking. I'm looking around. I'm smiling. I mean, I have to figure out how to hold these in my hand and knock at the same time. Hang on. Okay. Can Hello? Hey. hey. Hi. Hi, Noel. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. My name is Megan. I tried calling you, and I couldn't reach you. I don't know if I even have the right phone number, but you probably didn't recognize it, because I know a lot of people, if they don't recognize the number, they're not going to answer. I do that, too. But um, they had given this to me, because I live in Lafayette, just around your area, and I'm just supposed to get you the information. So you had filled this out. It was about the 2021 benefit information for Indiana residents. It's that if you, it's a state regulated program, pays for final expenses. And I'm just supposed to get you the information. So it only takes a couple minutes. If you got a couple minutes for me. Um, well, well, let me see that one more time. Away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, oh, so yeah, you had yeah, filled yeah, out yeah, that card yeah. you signed right there. Okay. That, that, yeah. Oh, well, my husband signed that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Is he home too? He's not here right now. Shoot. When's he going to be here? Well, we'll see. What time is it? Um, He'll be home about 6, six tonight. Okay, cool. I got a couple of other appointments. So what I'll do is I'll just come back around probably like 630, and then I'll bring this with me so he knows what I'm talking about too, okay? Okay. All right, hon. Right. I'll see you then. It was right. great talking to you. All righty. So that was one where the client, you get those? The client's like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I don't have time right now. Yeah, yeah. What do you do? I come back. I find out when they're going to be there, and then I come back. Now, and I've already built a relationship with her. Right? I'm calling her hun, right? She's my friend. So, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and you didn't let me say anything. No. All I said was hello, I think. Um, and then what is that? What is that paper? Okay, yeah. So yeah. don't worry. You stress out? No. Freak out? No. Try to step in the house? Nothing. Okay? Don't worry about it. All right. You want to see one where I actually say, come on in? All right? Do okay. that happen? They say, actually, come yeah, on in? Yeah. Most okay. of the time, right. yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, hi. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. My name's Megan. Um, I had tried to call you, and I couldn't reach you, but I was just down the road. So I figured I'd swing by real quick. I know you probably didn't recognize my phone number, and that's why you didn't answer. I do the same thing. Okay. But you had filled out this card here about the state-regulated program that pays for final expenses, and they had given it to me because I live in Lafayette here. 
So it just takes a couple minutes, but I'm supposed to go over this with you, see kind of what you qualify for. All right, if you got a couple minutes for oh, me. Oh, yeah. Sure. All right, cool. Sure. Awesome. I love you your home. Too, or? Oh, your husband, he's home too? He's home. I mean, Yay, perfect. Okay. All right. All right. Your husband's name, he's Mike, Mike. right? Yeah. Perfect. All awesome. Right. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And do you do you guys drink coffee? Are you big coffee drinkers? Oh, yeah, baby. Fantastic. I have my coffee, girl. Awesome. You know. awesome. Awesome. Great. Okay. All, right. All right. And then I go in. Come on in. Okay. All right. Is it simple like that? Yes. What kind of a, do you get any objections? She, listen, she didn't let me get a word in edgewise. Right? Right, yeah. Do they, do they ask you, do they interrupt you or anything sometimes. like that? Sometimes. Sometimes. Be like, I don't remember filling that out. Really? Okay. Is that your handwriting? Let's do one real quick. Okay. With the, I don't remember filling that out. We got four minutes. Okay. okay. So we got to go. All right. Hey, hey. Hi. Hi, Noelle. My name is Megan. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. Good, good, good. I had tried calling you and I couldn't reach you. I was just down the road, so I figured I'd swing by and here you are. Okay. Um, so you had filled out this card here. It was about the state regulated program. It pays for final expenses. Well, I and don't so, remember filling that out. Really? Well, yeah. they, gave, they gave this to me because I live in the Lafayette area, so I was supposed to get in touch with you. Okay. So, so look at the card here. Um, it pays for any final expenses, state regulated program. Um, you're 56, so it looks okay. like your husband's 65. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe so, he filled it out. Yeah, who knows. Okay. But yeah, I'm just supposed to get you the information if you got a couple minutes for me. Oh, sure. Yeah, Let's cool. Go. Awesome. Do you drink coffee? Yeah, I'm all right. Notice a coffee drinker. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You ask that all the time. Yeah. Coffee. Okay. I drink a lot of coffee. All right. Most of you young. have a beautiful house. Thank you. How long have you guys lived here? 20 years. Wow. All right. Start. We're not going to run the appointment, but it's a typical appointment, right? Yes. People are thinking, what happens after you get in the door? Well, you have your ATM. You do your typical appointment. You sit down at the table. You're friendly with them and all those things. Mm -hmm. That's We're not training on that part, okay? There's awesome trainers that are going to train on that for you. But this is actually how you get in the house on door knocking, Okay. <laughs> Keep it very simple. Very simple. Okay. Um, what else do we get? Um, hey, what if nobody's there? Let's say I'm not home. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, down yeah. over here okay. at the grocery store or something. And then I kind of look around. Then I knock again. I am, and then I have my delivery notice. And I'm standing here while I'm filling it out. So I'm giving them a chance to open the door while I'm filling it out. So I'm filling it out. Nobody came. I'll knock again. Nobody's there. I'm gonna stick this on there. That's like a, st that. that's a sticky stick. note. Yeah, it typically sticks on most doors. <laughs> <laughs> And what do so, you write? On, what do you write on this? So that sticky so, note, a missed delivery notice. Is delivery what notice, important time and date sensitive material. You got your first attempt, second attempt, final attempt. You can get some of these at the grocery or at the grocery store. <laughs> you can get these over at the Alliance store. They have a ton of them over there. It's it'll it's it costs you a couple cents. It'll make you millions of dollars. These it people. Will. People will, will you put your name on here. You missed a delivery. You got your phone number on here. They, guess what? They call you back. They always call you back. They, they're excited. They're excited. They, they missed a delivery. They want to know what it's <laughs> about. They call you back, and then you set the appointment from there. It's not a big deal. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Hey, listen, I tell you what. Is there anything real quick that you want to give them before we wrap this up? Um, yeah, even with this, it's... So they're calling you. You don't have to call them back. You know they're home. You're already in their area. We know they're home because they have it and they called you. Go back over there. So if you see them, call them. Just <laughs> Go. drive right over. <laughs> you know oh, they're yeah. there. I was in the area. Yeah. And you do the dance. Yeah. The same thing. I left that sticky note there. Okay. You know, I mean. Oh, and the fear. I mean, everybody has fear, right? So... Everybody has a fear, especially the first one of the day. But do everything it takes to just relax. Because I think when you go up to a house and you got all this fear and you're like, 
Noel, well, blah, 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 blah. You know, oh, they it sense it. They sense it. They're they like dogs it. like that. They're like, no, no, I'm they busy today. Smell fear, baby. Yeah. Yes. Remember, use your personality. Be that character. And the more you do it, the less you'll have that fear, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So give it up for Megan Wood, Thank everybody. Thank you. Thank you. And Noel Levin-Tovich.